you can use the DuckDuckGo default search engine, or you can use Brave, or you can use StartPage. Uh, all three of them are generally fine. Um, I personally use Brave Search just because I like the interface and I like the results uh, decently enough to still use it. Um, start page historically, I really enjoy the results the most because I really like Google results, but start page for me just is kind of iffy on whether or not it blocks my IP address, but that was a long time ago and apparently they got better. So I might try start page again just to experiment with it, but that's not something I'm currently using. And DuckDuckGo for me is just consistently always kind of sucked for results for me. Um, and I know I've heard from people who are outside the States that they don't have as many issues with DuckDuckGo. So there's a possibility that DuckDuckGo does better outside of the US uh, from what I've heard from people. So just use it works yeah. well. They're all good search engines overall, I think. I think that it really also depends on like the kind of stuff that you're searching for regularly. Sure. I was trying to use DuckDuckGo on my iPhone for a while because it's one of the only search engine options, but I found that I was most of the time using like those, what do they call them, bangs? The bangs, To like yeah. redirect to other search engines because DuckDuckGo results just weren't good. They weren't good for like finding current events in news uh, for whatever reason. And also I didn't even realize this, but the news section on DuckDuckGo is horrible because it just re redirects to like the Microsoft hosted version of these sites, um, which is ridiculous. But also it just wasn't very accurate if I was looking up current events and then also like technical information. Um, if I'm looking at something like for research or any of this <laughs> computer stuff that we do, I do a lot of like, I do a lot of searching for news and a lot of searching for technical stuff. And both of those use cases were really bad on DuckDuckGo. Um, so if I was just looking up facts or whatever, it was fine. But I eventually had to switch because I, uh, it, it was just kind of annoying to use. Um, and I wish that, <laughs> I just wish that DuckDuckGo was a bit better at that kind of thing. Yeah. And I think, just something to speak to here. So DuckDuckGo is almost entirely Bing results. Um, yeah. And again, at least in the US, and this is you know a different person. And again, some people love DuckDuckGo results and you can still love it. But um, in my RSS feed, <laughs> there is this really funny story because there's the antitrust stuff going on right now with Apple and the Google search deal. So for people who don't know, Google pays Apple a metric crap ton of money to make Google the default search engine within iOS. And this is part of this antitrust investigation. But there were some, I think it was either an interview or it was a leaked email, but I think it was an interview where an Apple spokesperson said, there is no amount of money that Microsoft can pay us <laughs> to put Bing as a default search engine. Like, and, and they specifically said, they could sell their company to us and we still wouldn't do it <laughs> because the results are just so much worse um, than Google for them. So at least in terms of what Apple users and iOS users are expecting from a search engine, um, Apple does not seem happy with the Bing results. So I just thought that was a funny story um, <laughs> that at least to me spoke to how like we're so used to Google and how Google really does in some ways have a monopoly in terms of the search results. And I think that's where start pages results really come in handy um, because I still find myself using the bangs a lot, even with Brave, but not as much as I did with DuckDuckGo. So I think Brave is my best middle ground right now, but bangs are really nice. Yeah, I, I, I would say I also have good experience with Brave. Um, can't set it as default in Safari, but sometimes I use a Brave browser on my phone instead just to just to use that. It, it, it is better than DuckDuckGo for sure. Yeah, within Safari, I also have DuckDuckGo. And the cool thing is DuckDuckGo and Brave uses almost the same um, bangs. So if you're used to bangs on Brave, it's pretty much the same on DuckDuckGo. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.